Beyond this point is a conflictual zone. It is a Palestinian village in the West Bank to which entrance of Israelis is dangerous and forbidden. A leader, a daring commander, Israel's 11th Prime Minister Ariel Sharon is laid to rest. I'm at the Knesset where his coffin was placed for an honorary memorial ceremony. Large protests took place in the Palestinian territories over the conditions of Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails. Tel Aviv received a major hit as a bomb exploded on a bus in the heart of the city, on a busy street with shops and cafes right across from the Israeli military headquarters. Along with the clashes, which turned out to be violent at this checkpoint, the IDF has prepared for trouble along the borders with Egypt and the Gaza Strip in the south, Jordan to the east, Lebanon in the north, and perhaps Syria as well. I'm standing in the Sderot police station in the midst of a pile of rockets and the remains, which are gathered by the police after every rocket attack and brought over to the station. I'm out in the field where this Iron Dome launcher is currently placed, a launcher that is meant to intercept rockets from Gaza. Six years ago, an Israeli tank was attacked by Hamas gunmen right by that tower, killing two soldiers and kidnapping Gilad Shalit, who was then held in captivity for over five years. The rockets were fired by terrorist cells in the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula, which stretches all the way out here. Israeli President Shimon Peres granted Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu a two-week extension in trying to assemble a coalition. Israelis will arrive, receive an envelope, and enter this poll booth. They will pick one of these paper ballot slips, each representing one of 34 parties running. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has vowed to retaliate for the alleged Israeli attack on Syrian soil in January. In the Orthodox world, more and more religious people are taking interest in aesthetics. And over the last few years, plastic surgery has become more acceptable among this community. Israel is a country that is constantly faced with security threats. There is one security threat, however, that we are less aware of, the contamination of the Israeli water system. Take culture, sports, and tourism. Combine them with 3,000 years of history. And here we are at the Formula One Motor Show. Various athletes, both professional and amateur, make their way to these beaches daily. A delegation of the European Jewish Parliament arrived on a special visit to the Hungarian Parliament in order to meet and discuss the growing anti-Semitism in the country in hope of bettering the future and defending the rights of Jews living in Europe. I was challenged, so here I am.